American needs to be concerned about what's happening right now here in Portland, because it's unfortunately coming to your city. It's like a roadshow on the part of our president, and he's using Portland as his test case. A warning tonight for the rest of the country from the attorney general of Oregon. She's filed a second lawsuit to force the removal of those feds from the streets of Portland. And when we say feds, what we mean is no name tags, not easily identifiable, militarized, camo wearing, quasi secret police force that our friend Steve Schmidt has called federal stormtroopers and jackbooted thugs. Oregon's demanding the feds stop detaining their citizens, in some cases forcing them into unmarked vehicles without telling why they're being arrested. The acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf, former lobbyist with no law enforcement experience who happens to be the fifth person to serve in that job under Trump, he defended the officer's actions in two separate appearances today. I don't need invitations by the state, uh, state mayors or uh, state governors to do our job. We're going to do that uh, whether they like us there uh, or mm -hmm. not. That's our responsibility. Police officers are not stormtroopers. They are not the Gestapo, as some have described them. That description is offensive, it's hyperbolic, and it's dishonest. Seemed like he might have been talking right to Steve Schmidt. Back with us tonight, the pride of Louisiana, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Russell Honore, who, of course, led the relief effort on the ground in New Orleans in the days following Katrina. 37-year veteran of our armed forces, happens to be the author of a book called Leadership in the New Normal, and I sure hope he's going to update some chapters after this normal is over, perhaps. General, what made you the angriest looking at these pictures out of Portland, Oregon? Uh, number one, they were wearing military uniforms. That uniform represent the cloth of our nation for people who don't draw overtime, who serve around the world at the direction of the National Command Authority. And it's not to be used as an instrument of protest suppression. The other thing you see people in that uniform, and we take a lot of pride in that uniform is designed to blend into terrain, not to make you look like a warrior. They're wearing these uniforms as a function of uh, intimidation to look like warriors. Real soldiers just don't walk up to people and start beating on them. Real police don't do that. The police, have the authority to detain you, and then somebody else will decide whether you get charged or whether you go to jail for whatever offense or place you might have violated. These men are going out, and I imagine some women, and literally beating people with batons, not apprehending them, as we saw in the case of that Navy veteran the other night, and just beating them. And as we see in this case, detaining people and taking them away. They're not representative of good law enforcement at all. Uh, they are acting like an uncontrolled mob on the street with uniforms and badges that they don't show. As you see right here, they beat this man up. You can't, you should, police don't do this. Watch this. What kind of bullshit is this? Wolf need to be run out of Washington. He has no business in charge of Homeland Security. We're talking about people like Chertoff and uh, Tom Ridge, those type of people of stature led Homeland Security. They have denigrated this to a, a lawless group who go around and think they can suppress uh, demonstrators doing peaceful as well as disobedience type demonstrations. This is a shame. Uh, General, there's an author, a professor up at Yale we have on on occasion. He wrote a very small but powerful book called On Tyranny, and it was kind of timed for the start of the Trump presidency. He lays out things to look for in society that you may be teetering on tyranny. Here's the one he says about this. Be wary of paramilitaries. When the pro-leader paramilitary and the official police and military intermingle, the end has come. And General, I don't think we're at this point, but a kind of militarized, roving national police force 
is not what we citizens signed up for. Well, we've merged into this SWAT teams, local sheriffs, a police force, a federal FBI, now Border Patrol, all merging themselves into military uniforms. Get the hell out of our uniforms. Our uniforms represent a mission in America to save lives, not to take lives. Do not suppress a people right, but protect people right to protest. They need to get them out of our uniforms. And I hope this will come out in the next bills coming out of the Senate that force these civil and federal police from wearing military uniforms. It's a denigration of our uniform to be out and doing things like beating on people while they're protesting and not apprehending them, but punishing them. Police do not have the authority to punish people. They're given the authority to apprehend and protect themselves. They cannot go around and just beat the hell out of people with sticks. And that's what these federal police are doing. Shameful on Mr. Wolf for leading such a band uh, out on the streets in America. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.